Hi there, here we have the 2011 Mini Hatch Cooper. This is the two litre Cooper D. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing you the condition of the bodywork. I'll also be showing you the interior and all the controls as we go around inside the car. So starting off with the front, as you can see, it does have the nice chrome front grille. Also the chrome uh, surrounding on the, uh, on the front headlights. Very, very nice color combination, no sort of major marks or scuffs. So it does work well with the chrome door handles as well and the alloys. So as I say, nice color combination. Just to confirm, Rushmore's have done a full mechanical check, a full service, and the new 12 months MOT will also be done at point of sale. Moving on to the back of the car, a slight mark just there, so a few minor scratches, but nothing major at all. So it is obviously nothing major on the car. As you can see from the back, so no, no sort of major scuffs or scratches. A, a warranty as well as the 12 months breakdown cover. So that all comes in with the price of the car. You do also have the option to um, extend the warranty up to 36 months. So this is something we recommend that rush more. It's obviously more as a peace of mind than anything does have the uh, slight tinted windows at the back as well let's have a look at the interior starting off with the front passenger door so nice little major marks on the lever it does have the half lever seats so as you can see nice little tears if you wanted to go to the back there is obviously the handle just here so you just push that and you are able to jump in to the back it does have the isofix as well it's a nice safety point if there is a, um, a child or see at the back. It does also have these side airbags, as you can see just there. Dash is all nice and clean as well. Alright, let's just have a look at the, uh, the boot space. So as you can see there, you've got your tyre repair kit as well. Space. Obviously, there is, a, you know, you can fit a few shopping bags. So, considering the size of the car, it is actually quite decent boot space. It does also have the parcel shelf, so it gives you that privacy. No one can see what's inside your boot. Moving on to the um, driver's side door now. So as you can see, once again, those marks. It does have the electric door mirrors just there, so you can adjust your mirrors on the door. Moving on inside the car now. So first of all, before we start um, going through the controls, just to show you, it does have the engine stop start button. It does have the two keys, so the key you just slide it in there, press the button. That obviously activates and turns on the um, ignition. And now the car is on as well. Okay, so let's just close this window. Right, so it does have the DAB radio on board. So if we go into mode, you've got your uh, DAB, as you can see just there, you've got your um, CD player as well. Just there, your AUX and USB as well. So your AUX and USB inputs. If we go into menu, and if we go onto telephone, let's just turn this volume down a little bit. So if we go onto telephone, you can connect your phone for the telephone. So if there's any, any obviously phone calls that come through, they can be answered or declined on your uh, on your steering wheel inside the vehicle. So you don't have to give, um, you obviously go on the phone, so hands-free. You see the insert just there. So if you go into menu, config, so you've got everything else on there. So sort of time, temperature. Let's just go back onto there. You've got your rev counter, so it does, the car has done 74,864 miles. So your, uh, your trip computer just there, obviously you've got your cruise control on this side. Your uh, wipers and your rear, obviously rear wiper as well on your front. You've also got your lights just there, and obviously indicators this side. Automatic, so at the moment it is in park. But feel the brake, there is a chrome just handled there, so you push the handle down. Obviously, it's in drive, reverse, and so on. 
Moving down to the actual uh, climate control. So if, as you can see there, at the moment it is currently off. Let's just turn that on. So at the moment it is on low, as you can see just there. So if you wanted to turn the temperature up, then you can do that as well. So if you want it to be warmer in the vehicle, as you can see the temperature is going up. That's where you want your air to be blowing. So I've pressed this button there. As you can see now the arrow is pointing above. So it will be blowing through there. Obviously if you want it blowing to your face, you just press that one down to your feet. As you can see there is the arrow as well. Let's just turn that off. You also have your uh, front demister, your rear demister just there. You also have your air conditioning button just there as well. So it does have the aircon. AC is nice and cold, to be honest. As soon as I put, I've pressed that on, you can actually feel it. It is nice and uh, nice and cool inside the car. You have your front electric windows, as you can see. So front, driver's side and passenger both have their electric windows. You also have your front and rear fog lights. And then the button in the middle just here, as for your uh, that's just to lock the car from the inside as well. Two cup holders, you have your traction control button just there as well. Another cup holder just there at the back for whoever's in the back. You've got a, um, not a lot of people know this, but you've got a little storage unit just there. So that is quite hidden, not really, not not, not a lot of people, as I say, know about that. And if you press that, you've also got your, um, your glove compartment as well. Right, so you've seen the exterior and interior of the vehicle. If there is any further questions or you need finance arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call as we're more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. All right, thanks for watching.